morning welcome back to my channel um yeah if you're i just thought i'd kind of film like this is basically like a day in my life but doing a little twist to make a difference about focusing on what it's like to live with your parents when you're in your early 20s because yes i am in my early 20s so welcome i know it's not like uncommon to live with your parents at my age but i just thought i'd share it for people who want to see i don't know i really don't know when i was like 15 years old i thought i'd be moved out and had my own like cute apartment by now but obviously with prices of everything and the fact that i'm still in university like obviously no that's probably not gonna happen so yeah i've just been feeling really like kind of off lately I'm not gonna get too into it or anything but just feeling kind of like off and like the thought of doing things makes me so like I just feel super lazy and like I just want to do stuff but at the same time I don't and that's not fun that's not fresh so we're gonna try to do our makeup and kind of get ready today because I haven't done like my hair or makeup in quite a while like actually got ready so we're gonna do that but First, I think I'm gonna order some lunch because I'm absolutely starving and we don't really have any like thing to eat at my house and I really don't want to drive anywhere right now. So, DoorDash for the win. Ew, I can't believe I said that. I'm retired, do it yourself. That's my motto for today. And I look like Rosie the Riveter with this hair thing on. Anyway, I just got this hair thing at HomeSense. It's like a microfiber towel for your hair to dry in, which is super fun and yeah i've only used it like twice last time i washed my hair i used castor oil like before my shower which i've done like the past few times because i have really thin hair and i really want it to like grow like thicker and just like stop falling out but i didn't wash it out fully so this is my second time washing my hair this week which isn't like amazing i know for your hair but what can you do okay bye this camera angle though doing everything for me anyway that was sometimes i just like say things and i have no idea what part of my brain they're coming from or even how my mouth is saying them you know what i mean like i really just don't know i kind of got a late start this morning like i woke up early but my mom has her friend and husband over like for this whole week so my mom my dad and the couple were like all in the living room this morning and I just I felt gross like I really needed to shower and I didn't want to get up and go visit so I just kind of like stayed in my room all morning <laughs> they left at like 11 45 so I was in my room for like four hours just killing time but that's just the reality of it I really do not like socializing with people in the morning I don't I just didn't feel like it this morning I promise I'm not like rude they're gonna be here tonight we're having dinner and all that stuff so I think I'm gonna get a burrito bowl from Quesada I love using DoorDash and spending like $20 on a lunch that should be like 13 <sighs> Okay, lunch is ordered. Let's see how long it's gonna be. Okay. Well, I guess I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Hey, come on. <laughs> Please. Forgot to mention, I have another friend this week. Say hi. Say hello. <laughs> hello. He's my brother's cat. Um, and he's shedding like crazy. He actually, like I used to live with him when my brother lived with me in our last house. And Leo's always been a little bit like shy and just like nervous around people. So if he's looking like extra shy or like you think he looks sad on camera that's why i promise he's never been abused or anything like that leo hey leo no leo but my brother's doing training in the city i live in this week so he's living with us in our guest room and he brought leo because obviously he doesn't have any like like his roommates aren't gonna look after his cat for him so he brought leo and i look after leo during the day because i didn't mention but i'm on reading week from the college so i'm home like all day so i just look after leo Got the goods, time to eat. And I also brought myself a bubbly, so.
like my makeup turned out really bad like the face makeup I literally cannot understand what happened to it so I just washed my face and moisturized I'm not gonna use primer I think that might have been my downfall but I'm gonna start with my brows because I'm gonna give my skin or I think I can actually start on my skin so back to the time lapse Makeup is all done. Now I don't really want to do my hair, but I might later. We will see. I'm so boring. I literally, like, when I was doing my makeup, I was trying to think of, like, what else I could talk about or do in this video, and I was just like, I really don't know. So I'm just so boring. We'll see where the day takes us, but oh, I pressed something, but my makeup's done. I haven't done, like, a look with just mascara. It's not focusing with just mascara in a while, but... My eyes don't look too beady today, so I'm not mad about it, so. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, kind of vain. I don't know why I started it like that, but I took some pictures. Because usually when I do my makeup, I try to take some pictures, so I have, like, stuff to post on Instagram. I'm trying to post more, but I kind of hate posting, but I took some kind of, like, there's supposed to be, like, a photo booth kind of look, because I have this one template of like a photo strip so I think I'm gonna try to like edit them in to the photo strip to make it look like I actually went to like a photo booth and took them there I just like editing photos and it's fun to do stuff like that so I thought it'd be fun to try to do that so I've just been like in Lightroom making them black and white um yeah this is exactly what every single 20 year old living with their parents does is take and edit pictures of themselves but yeah, it is amazing how much better I feel once I have like makeup on my face, if it looks good. If I do my makeup and it turns out bad, I get really upset, but it's not bad. Yeah, I don't know, some of these pictures turned out pretty good, and I'm happy about it, so I'm just gonna finish editing them. This whole video is time lapses. I'm so sorry, I hope it's not. It is, I know it is, I've been filming it, I know it's all time lapses, so. This is what my life is like, I don't do anything worth like watching in real time, everything I do is better in time lapse. Also, I have to clean my room again because I did my makeup like a maniac and there's a mess everywhere. So, anyway, I'll catch up with you later. Bye. <sighs> the internal debate about whether or not I should leave the house. I'm probably not going to. But anyway, I finished that picture. Kind of cool, kind of fun. Took a while. Not too long, but I don't know. I just find it fun to do that, so I did it. Mm -hmm. I just literally am so boring. Like, what do I do in a day? Nothing. I don't want to leave my house because that's not fun for me. It just makes me sad. I think I'm going to force myself to leave the house. <sighs> I think I am. I'm going to. Okay. Okay. I really don't want to, but we're going to. I, even if I'm just getting like a, like a drink at McDonald's, I'm going to leave the house. Oh, but it's almost... No, we're not second-guessing ourselves, even though it's almost rush hour. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's the fit. Yeah, my room's a disaster, but... Apparently it's minus seven degrees outside, so I can't wait for that. Anyway. In my car. Don't worry, I'm not driving. I'm trying to set up my music. It's not working. Anyone else have Bluetooth in their car and it just never works? <laughs> Me too. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna drive around until I feel right. Or at least right enough. Because if I just wait till I feel good, we're gonna be driving for a while. Okay, I'm gonna try to get out here before my parents get home so they don't stop me and ask me where I'm going. Okay, I'll put you there for now. <laughs> Money, 
money, money ain't the motive. Well, that was a bust. I felt like my tires were flat and I was really nervous and like I actually want to scream. So we'll talk in a bit. <laughs> my car is honestly like a piece of shit. <laughs> like it's a 2006, so it's almost 20 years old. Not really, it's not really that close, but almost. And it's just like not a good car. Like it's fine, but for some reason, every time I drive, my tires are like flat. So I have to blow them up before I leave. And I took it to the tire shop and there was a drywall screw in one of my tires, so they fixed it. But still, like not just that tire is the one that's flat. They're always all flat. And like I have a compressor in my garage, so I know how to fill them up and everything. So I just like blow them up and go about my day. So, I don't know, but today they all look fine, like none of them look flat, but it was driving so wobbly and it felt like if I took a corner, to, like it felt really icy, but the roads aren't icy. So I literally just drove around the block and came back home because when I think there's something wrong with my car, I get so anxious and I thought one of my tires was like flat. So I was worried people were going to see it and then try to like tell me that it was flat and like wave at me or do something. And I just, I hate, I hate it my life is a never-ending hell so yeah i drove around the block and came back and i'm back in my pajamas in my bed and just disappointed with myself because i really did want to leave the house but things happen so anyway yeah can we get a round of applause for the makeup i did to leave the house for 10 minutes and not even leave my car Okay. Bro. Are you fucking real, man? Come on. Thank you.